Hello, this is meant to be a tutorial to create a line graph that has a dotted line for a forecast line. And we'll use it with this mock sales data um, where we have seven months of known data in 2016 and we want to forecast the rest of 16 and 17 and for it to be in a line graph and from August 16 onward to be a dotted line. So the first step is to create your forecast and you can do this any number of ways. I'm going to do it based off the growth rate and I'm going to calculate that here really quickly. Oops. And then we will get a forecast for ourselves. Drag this down. Format it here. And we're going to make this one. Oops. Plus the average of the last three months of growth rate and we're gonna drag that all the way down and let's take a peek and see what our graph looks like here we have this cool little exponential looking sales chart here with a forecast out to 17 maybe it's a little aggressive and maybe you need to change your forecast method um, but we're just going to show you how to make from August 16th onward a dotted line and for that we're going to have to actually insert a column and we're going to have something called sales forecast or whatever you want to if we just want to make it forecast and we're going to go down here and we're actually going to start with the first real number that we know or the last real number that we know and we're going to copy all the way down and can oops copy this whole list and paste value to the right so that now we can go ahead and delete all of our forecast data from these cells here and we can actually delete this whole row here and then we're gonna re-click re on the chart and click select data and we're gonna add our forecast column and we want it to be titled sales forecast so we can just select that box and then we want it to reference from the top date so we want these to show as blank and then start at 185 so that there's not a gap between the known and the forecast and then it will continue on until the end of our forecast and let's re-edit this so that the month and years come back hit OK hit OK and we see we have a different color line here we're gonna match the same color and then we're going to make it a dotted line of our choice I like this simple dotted line here and I like the legend at the bottom here so that you can get a longer view of the forecast so that is how you create a sales forecast dotted line um, that matches seamlessly with your existing data. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope this helps.